Let's talk about another huge story going on this year that we admittedly haven't really devoted a lot of time to, probably not as much as it deserves really with everything else going on, but let's go to an email or this is a message on Facebook from Barbara. Why haven't we heard any statistics about the census? How many people have responded? Will Oregon get another house seat? All great questions, all about a really important topic. We actually just got some news from the Census Bureau. They're now planning to end the count on September 30th, which is one month early. This m includes all means of counting people from knocking on doors to filling out questionnaires online, everything. The Bureau says that they have to stop then so that they have enough time to process all of the data from across the country by the end of the year. But a lot of people are concerned that that means that certain communities are going to be undercounted, especially marginalized group groups. So where do we stand right now with the count? Nationwide, 63% of people have responded to the census. In Oregon, it's a little bit higher. We're at about 65%, and that's a little bit lower than the amount who responded in 2010. Washington is at 68%, which is more than they resp had respond about a decade ago. Now, to your last question. Yes, Oregon is expected to get a new House seat in Congress because our population has grown a lot in the past 10 years. This is a map of the five congressional districts that we know right now. Next year, this will almost certainly be redrawn to add a sixth district, but that is a huge undertaking because each district has to have exactly the same number of people in it, give or take just one person. But there's actually kind of a fight right now over who's going to be redrawing those lines. See, usually state lawmakers do it, but some people are concerned about possible gerrymandering because of partisan politics. A group called P People, not politicians, is trying to get a measure on the ballot that would hand redistricting over to a nonpartisan group. But here's the thing, they didn't get enough signatures to make it on the ballot by the deadline. So they sued and a judge ruled in their favor saying that he believed the pandemic hampered their signature gathering efforts. But the state really didn't like that ruling so now they're appealing it to the Ninth Circuit Court. The court is letting the group continue to collect signatures in the meantime while they decide the fate of this initiative. Of course, we will keep you posted on what happens.